Hi folks, brief video here. I should have mentioned these when I did the Yasuke podcast and the background of the Shogun miniseries podcast. A uh, question came up, you know, uh, okay, so if Kosho, Sword Page, the Sword Bears, was not a battlefield thing, they did not follow the Lord into battle, um, instead of staying at the castle, stuff like that, then who was in charge of the safety of the Lord? Well, the answer would be what's called Hatamoto. Okay. Uh, hata basically means flag or banner. Moto means like the base of or around. And it refers to the fact that, you know, on the battlefield, the lord, the general, whatever, would have a huge banner. And this was basically for communications and control on the battlefield. Messengers, you know, things moved around the battlefield, but a messenger can always see this banner and make for it and deliver his message. Um, of course, this also worked for the enemy. So around this banner and the Lord would be a large contingent of people that directly reported to the general. Um, they might be the equivalent of privates or whatever, but they they report only to the general. Um, no chain of command. Uh, so this is these were the people that took care of the safety of the Lord on the battlefield. You know, I mean, Kosho, sword pages, um, on a battlefield, you don't give up control of your weapon. You don't give it to somebody else to carry for you. So, you know, so the Tokugawa, Oda Nobunaga, they all had their swords on them at on a battlefield. But surrounding them was this semi-elite unit of direct retainers that would move with him. If he, he, if he led the charge, they were, they were with him. If he retreated, they covered his back. Um, the only real, the only known non-Japanese Hatamoto were um, one guy named William Adams, who that black character Blackthorn in the series Shogun was loosely based on, and the, uh, the another guy from the same ship. He was Dutch, Jan Joosten, I think it's, I've only read his, I've not heard his name, so I don't know how it's pronounced. But those were the only Hatamoto that were non-Japanese that we know of. Uh, they worked directly for Tokugawa Ieyasu, who the character um, Toranaga in Shogun was based on. Um, so yeah, so that's 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 what Hatamoto were. Hatamoto were the battlefield uh, direct retainers, and of course, even off the battlefield, these were the bodyguards. These were the guys that surrounded the Lord. They were directly responsible for him. Um, and I want to point out with Will Will Adams and Jan uh, Justin, uh, they weren't fighters, um, but Tokugawa wanted them to come directly to him without having to go through you know a whole bunch of other people. So they were made Hatamoto for that reason, not for their fighting profits. I should have mentioned this in the thing about Yasuke and the other podcast about Shogun, but now I'm taking care of it.